Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about TRAPPIST-1. So last time when we did a space engine talk about a different planetary system that is in has exoplanets, we did with Proxima Centauri, but this is TRAPPIST-1. So what is TRAPPIST-1? Let's go to the star TRAPPIST-1. TRAPPIST-1, just like the Proxima Centauri star, is also a red dwarf star, however, it's dimmer than Proxima Centauri, and it's cooler than Proxima Centauri. As you can notice, it is an M8V star that is about 5 billion years old, and the temperature is only 2516 Kelvin. And I can compare that to Proxima Centauri. So, this is Proxima Centauri, 3000 Kelvin. It means this one is about 500 Kelvin less than Proxima Centauri, meaning TRAPPIST-1 is very dim, like super dim. So, TRAPPIST-1 is a star that contains about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, They contains 7 known exoplanets that orbit TRAPPIST-1, and people think that TRAPPIST-1e is habitable, but is it really? So, here's some more facts about TRAPPIST-1. Remember, these are not accurate because of Space Engine. So, before I continue talking, note that this is what Space Engine thinks about the exoplanets in the star. So, they may not be accurate. Like, they're not really the vi good visual interpretation of TRAPPIST-1. It's not really the realistic one. It's just what it interprets. So, anyways, back to the talking. So, the gravity is about 169 g on TRAPPIST-1. The mass is only 8.9% of the sun on TRAPPIST-1 and and has an actual tilt of about 147 degrees and the rotational period takes 3.3 days so this is TRAPPIST-1 diameter is also 168,359 kilometers so let's compare that to Jupiter and as you can notice it is just a little bit bigger than Jupiter yeah TRAPPIST-1 is just a little bit bigger than Jupiter so this is TRAPPIST-1 and very dim red dwarf star that contains about seven exoplanets. So let's quickly go through all the exoplanets one by one. First up, the closest exoplanet, TRAPPIST 1b. TRAPPIST 1b is a warm, airless Terra, which is tidally locked to its red, trap, red dwarf star, TRAPPIST 1, and the gravity is only 80% of the Earth. Temperature is 100 degrees Celsius, the mass and the diameter is slightly more than the Earth, and it was discovered in 2016 via transit. So, and its ESI is also 69.6%, and let's go to the surface. You can notice the surface is pretty cratered, you're not going to lie, because it's like a airless, it doesn't have any atmosphere. And also, like I said, it is tightly locked to the red dwarf star, meaning you're going to experience eternal daylight and eternal nighttime. Or if you go in the twilight zone, eternal, sunri eternal sunset or sunrise, but the sun's not going to set. Look at the beautiful view, but it's not as beautiful if we go without an atmosphere, though. You can see the surface, pretty cratered up, and this is TRAPPIST-1b. Let's go to TRAPPIST-1c, which has an atmosphere unlike TRAPPIST-1b, taking 2.4 days to orbit TRAPPIST-1. And just like TRAPPIST-1b, it is tightly locked. And just like TRAPPIST-1c, TRAPPIST-1d is tightly locked. And basically all of the planets in the system are tightly locked, you know? Which is a shame because you're going to experience eternal sunrise and sunsets and eternal daylight and eternal nighttime, no, whatever planet you go in the system. So, TRAPPIST 1c is, is about slightly smaller than TRAPPIST 1b, and, and, but the mass is also slightly, is slightly more than TRAPPIST 1b. And its ESI is the highest, but it's not habitable. Sorry. And it takes 2.4 days to orbit the star. And its temperature is negative 46 degrees Celsius with an atmosphere pressure of 15, made out of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. So let's go to the surface. This was also discovered in 2016 via transit. All the planets have been discovered via transit. However, this, starting from TRAPPIST 1e, it was discovered one year later. So let's go to TRAPPIST 1c. This is the surface on TRAPPIST 1c. It kind of reminds you of Mars with the reddish atmosphere, but why is it reddish? Well, it is reddish because the atmosphere is red, and second of all, the star is glowing red. You know? This is TRAPPIST-1C's surface. It is mostly similar to Mars with 
look at you can see similar properties to Mars on Trappist 1C. So let's go to Trappist 1D and quickly review that. Trappist 1D is a very has a huge has a thick atmosphere of 22.5 atmosphere pressure. It is classified as a Lacoste giant planet, really, and the diameter is literally 78 percent of the Earth, meaning it's kind of small and it's actually the second smallest planet. The ESI is 74.6 percent. It takes four days to orbit Trappist 1, and as an age of 5 billion years, the atmosphere composition is carbon dioxide and nitrogen, just like Trappist 1C, but its atmosphere pressure is more, and the temperature on the planet is way cooler because it's farther away from Trappist 1. So let's go to Trappist 1D. You can see, also similar to Mars, because Trappist 1 is light. And even though it's Lacostrine, it isn't that much, there isn't that much seas. Sorry. So this is Trappist 1D. It was also discovered in 2016 via transit. Let's go to Trappist 1E. This is where we think it's habitable. Ta-da! It's not habitable. It was discovered in 2017 via a transit, which is one year after Trappist 1's discovery in 2016. So Trappist 1E takes six days to orbit Trappist 1 in the habitable zone of Trappist 1. Yes, Trappist 1E is in the habitable zone of the star. And the diameter is only 90% of the Earth, and the mass is only 77% of the Earth. The temperature is way cooler, negative 150 degrees Celsius, yeah. Negative 150 degrees Celsius. Now, do you think this is even habitable in the first place? Unless you're expecting subglacial life. The atmosphere pressure is very low. There is no way it's going to be habitable with 2% of the Earth's atmosphere pressure, which is made out of carbon dioxide. C2H2, nitrogen, C2H4, and CO. This is Trappist 1E, and the actual tilt is zero because it's tightly locked. And the ESI is 73.5, which is kind of convincingly close, but not that much. So this is Trappist 1E. Let's go to Trappist 1F, which is in the outer ranges of the habitable zone of Trappist 1. It takes nine days to orbit Trappist 1. And its diameter is actually slightly larger than Earth, but the mass is lower than Earth. The gravity is only 80% of the Earth. The atmosphere pressure is only 87% of the Earth's atmosphere pressure. And its average temperature is negative 165 degrees Celsius. This is Trappist 1F. And you notice it was also discovered in 2017, just like Trappist 1E and Trappist 1G and Trappist 1H were discovered in 2017. And this is Trappist 1F. Let's go to the surface real quick. Trappist 1F, mostly similar to like all, Trappist 1C, most, which is mostly similar to Trappist 1D. So this is like exactly the same. It's an arid planet. And speaking of this, let's go to Trappist 1E surface for a little bit to show you what it compares like, which looks like this, which is almost exactly the same as other planets. It's arid. So this is Trappist 1F. The ESI is 64% and, the, and takes 9.2 days to orbit. Trappist 1G now. Trappist 1G is slightly a little bit out of the habitable zone of Trappist 1 and takes 12 days to orbit. Its diameter is only 1.1 of the Earth and the mass is 1.1 of the Earth, meaning it is a super terra. It's not really a terra, it's an aquarium, meaning it's mostly made out of ice. The atmosphere composition is mostly nitrogen with hydro with hydrogen, carbon dioxide, C2H4 and C2H6. The atmosphere pressure is literally less than Trappist 1E, which is only 1% of the Earth. Average temperature is negative 174 degrees. And this is Trappist 1G, ESI 58.4%. And this is the orbital period. And and yes, discovered in 2017. I'm going to repeat that again for Trappist 1H. Not going to repeat that. So this is Trappist 1G. The gravity is also 87% of the Earth. And Trappist 1G, let's go to the surface of Trappist 1G, which is also reminds you of Mars. You can see the stars because the atmosphere is so thin that you can see the stars. You can see, mostly similar to Mars, like all the other Trappist 1 planets are almost similar to Mars. So let's go to the final planet in the Trappist 1 system. Trappist 1H, taking exactly 20 days to orbit Trappist 1, and it is literally nowhere near the habitable zone. People don't think it's habitable. With an average temperature of negative 189 degrees Celsius and an ESI 
The diameter is about 75% of the Earth, with the mass only being 33% of the Earth. And TRAPPIST-1H is tightly locked. Yes, the furthest planet of TRAPPIST-1 is still tightly locked. That's not good. And the atmosphere composition is mostly nitrogen and CO, and the atmosphere pressure is way more than TRAPPIST-1G and TRAPPIST-1E. And this, let's go to the surface of TRAPPIST-1H. It's the last one. You can notice the beautiful aurora, so let's land close to the auroras. So, we're landed close to the auroras right now. You can see TRAPPIST-1H, not bad. It looks looks like all the other TRAPPIST planets, which also is the red hue because TRAPPIST-1 is a red dwarf star. And the gravity is 57% of the Earth, and this is TRAPPIST-1H's stuff. So anyway, that's all for TRAPPIST-1. If you enjoyed this talk, make sure to subscribe. I'll catch you on very soon. Bye, everyone. I'll see you later.